Pets here. Today I wanted to do a video on the nitrogen cycle and I want to do it from the standpoint of you already have the tank and you already have the fish. I get asked this question a lot. I have my fish, I have the tank, how do I cycle it? Ideally the tank should be cycled before getting a fish. However, a tank can be cycled with a fish. It is just a lot more stressful for the fish. So let's take a look at what the nitrogen cycle is and how it affects the fish. So the nitrogen cycle is started once you add the fish. When the fish start eating, they then produce waste and this then produces ammonia. Leftover food in the tank also produces ammonia and ammonia is very dangerous to your fish. It burns their scales, their fins and their gills and is one of the main causes of fin rot. As the cycle continues, ammonia is then broken down by a nitrosomonas bacteria and that forms nitrite. Nitrite is also very harmful for your fish. As the cycle progresses, the nitrite is broken down by a nitrobacter bacteria and this then forms nitrate. Nitrate is not harmful to fish as long as the levels in your tank are not too high and this is why we do water changes. Water changes reduce the amount of nitrate in the tank. Also having live plants in the tank actually use the nitrates as fertilizer. So now that we've seen how the nitrogen cycle works, how do we take care of the tank? Doing regular water changes every few days will really help your fish. You need to do about 10 to 15 percent and this will help reduce the amount of ammonia in the tank which will help relieve some of the stress on your fish. When the tank is going through the cycling process it is ideal to do regular water testing. That way you can monitor the ammonia, nitrite and nitrate levels and you would also know when the cycling process is complete. You can use something like the API Master Kit and this would give you accurate readings of your ammonia, nitrite and nitrate levels. If you want to take a look at this I will leave a link in the description box below. It's important to not overfeed your fish. The more you feed them, the more waste they produce and this also adds to the ammonia levels in the tank. You can use products such as Fluval, Biological, Enhancer and also Tetra Safe Start. These can help to kickstart your tank. Just be sure to follow the instructions on the bottle. Once the tank is cycled, you can then go to weekly water changes and this will then keep the tank very healthy and very balanced. With cycling a tank, patience is really the biggest factor. It does take anything between four to eight weeks for a tank to cycle properly, and during that time, that can be very, very stressful for your fish. So very careful maintenance of the tank is very important. Okay guys, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.